finish publishing your post, tracking it and planning your social calendar. Now, let's see how you can manage your social account. Imagine that you own Zilka Mart and you have around 10 employees working for you. You have onboarded all of them in your social account. But how do you manage their work? How do you set roles and permissions so that your team can access the necessary modules? You can regulate all of this and so much more from your settings page. Understanding your account and preferences better can make your Zoho social experience a lot more convenient and easy to use right away. Your settings page comprises two sections, brand settings and general settings. Under brand settings, you can see brand information where you can set your brand name, set a display picture, add a description and choose your time zone. Click on save and it's done. Under social channels, you can view all the social media channels you've connected to your social account. You can connect or disconnect them as you require. If there is any error in connecting your channels, you can also view that here and take action accordingly. The brand members section comprises the entire list of team members and client members you've added to your account. You can also view the list of users who are yet to accept your invitation to join the account. You can invite team and client members, cancel an already sent invite or resend an invite. The publishing settings section comprises all the settings and preferences required to manage publishing from your account. Under publishing preferences, you can add or remove approvers who are users with permission to manage posts sent to them for approval for being published. If you are an admin, you can pause posts and this will pause all the posts from this particular brand until they are resumed. For instance, say your website has crashed unexpectedly but you have scheduled your content calendar with some educative content and promotional blogs that all lead to your website. You can use the pause feature and pause all your posts until your website is functioning normally. You can also choose your default link shortener here from bit.ly and zurl which is Zoho Social's very own built-in URL shortener and transform long links into shorter and more precise ones. Enabling URL tracking in Zoho Social will ensure that all URLs added to the Compose window from your account will be tracked using UTM parameters which are metrics that help marketers understand where their visitors are coming from. Under hashtag groups, you can create and modify hashtag groups so that you can add them directly to your Compose window whenever you are creating a post. Under queue settings, you can set possible queue slots for publishing from your social channels. You can modify, delete and add new queue slots here. Roles and permissions lets you monitor the permissions for existing roles and create new roles. Other than social's default roles, brand admin, user and limited publisher, you can create any number of roles and assign different permissions to them. The Notifications tab lets you manage notifications sent out from Zoho Social. You can choose the list of people who should get a notification for different scenarios including when a scheduled post goes live or fails to go live on social channels, when a channel gets disconnected, when someone mentions you in a comment or discussion internally to discuss a post and all general notifications from social channels. You can also see 
the list of approvers who will be notified when a post is sent for approval before publishing. Under Inbox Preferences, you can modify your inbox settings. Enabling Reply and Close will automatically mark a conversation as closed once you have responded to it. You can create assignment roles to filter automatically and assign interactions to selected team members. For instance, you can set a rule stating that all Facebook interactions should be assigned to a specific person or all at mentions in all networks should be assigned to a single person. The lead generation tab also lets you set an assignment rule to add leads based on the type of interaction they've performed on Facebook and LinkedIn. You can also set rules based on specific keywords used in the interaction and add them as a contact or lead accordingly. You can sync your LinkedIn or Facebook lead ads automatically to Zoho CRM. Ticket creation lets you select the type of posts and messages that you directly want to convert into ticket. For instance, if you have a lot of customers reaching out to you on Facebook for support queries, you can convert all your Facebook messages into tickets so that you don't miss any of them. Moving on to general settings. Under preferences, you can set up Zia, Zoho Social's AI-powered writing assistant by adding a secret key generated from the OpenAI platform. You can enable Compose with Zia to use Zia in the Compose window and reply to an inbox interaction using Zia to reply to interactions using Zia. The All Members section lists all the members in the account. You can view their details, their role, the brands they belong to, what channels they have access to, if they are an approver or not, as well as change their role or deactivate any member if they are no longer a part of your account. Portal settings contains details of your portal and you can upload your company logo and even set a custom domain if you are on the agency plan. Say you are an agency and you have invited your client members to your Zoho social account. To give your client members a personalized experience you can set up a custom domain for your account and share it with your clients so they can access social without having to leave the tool. Audit log shows the entire log of key activities performed by admins in your Zoho social account. You are done setting up your account and have learned some tips and tricks for finding your way through the product. Now it's your turn to try Zoho social and make your social media experience more engaging and delightful. I hope I was able to give you a complete picture of Zoho Social, taking you through the series of videos. You can check out our resources section to learn more about our product or reach out to our support team at support at with any queries. Thank you.